So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIP 24/7. मैं हूं अनीश मिश्रा and guys in today's session I will bring to you another five important questions from the PIP news. And guys this session is beneficial for various government exams and most importantly ESI section of RBI Grade B. So let's begin with the session guys. But before we begin, if you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon and also you can join this Telegram group. For daily quizzes and updated information about the session, or this link, you will get in the description. So let's begin with the session, guys. And the question number one is: Ministry of Ayush, which is headed by Shri Pad Yesod Nair, his Lok Sabha constituency is North Goa. Okay. So this ministry, in collaboration with Dash, will set up strategic policy and facilitation bureau to facilitate planned and systematic growth of the Ayush sector. So you have to fill this gap. कौन सी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ मिलके मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष इन कोलैबोरेशन विल एस्टैब्लिश दिस ब्यूरो सो गाइस लेट्स डिस्कस द न्यूज़ सो दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गाइस इज द इन्वेस्ट इंडिया ओके सो इन कोलैबोरेशन विद इन्वेस्ट इंडिया मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष विल विल एस्टैब्लिश दिस स्ट्रेटजिक पॉलिसी एंड फैसिलिटेशन ब्यूरो इन द आयुष सेक्टर और ये जो ब्यूरो है ये क्या करेगा व्हाट विल इट डू सो इट विल प्रोवाइड एन इंपीटस टू द आयुष सेक्टर बाय You know, formulating the policies uh, uh, by helping the ministry in strategizing the policies and programs related to the IU sector. Okay, so IU sector में जो भी policies and programs हैं उनको properly strategize करने के लिए proper uh, proper implementation के लिए this bureau has been uh, will be established by the Ministry of IU in collaboration with Invest India. That's it, guys. इसके बारे में अभी हमारे पास केवल इतनी information government ने provide कराई है. In future, if there will be any more information, I'll get. Uh, I get it to you. Okay, so uh, this has been, this will be done to plan uh, to facilitate planned and systematic growth of the IU sector. So therefore, the correct answer is what option A, Invest India. Okay, option A, Invest India will be the correct answer. And most probably, if any question comes in your exam then, uh, related to this topic, so uh, most probably, this type का होगा हमसे ये पूछा होगा कि किस के साथ मिलके मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष ने कोलैबोरेशन किया था. So the correct answer will be what option A, Invest India. Okay. And now, guys, let's move on to the question number two, which is about a project. So, under which project of Niti Aayog, Odisha government has recently announced to merge 8,000 schools into other schools due to low enrollment. So, guys, if you are following the government scheme session, then you can easily answer this question because uh, recently, two or three weeks ago, I have discussed about this project of Niti Aayog. So, can you tell me the answer? Yes, this is option B, Sat E. Option B, Sat E project. So, under Sat E project. Odisha government has identified around 8,000 schools which will be merged into the other schools due to low enrollment, right? And what is this SAT E project? So there is a SAT project of Niti Aayog. So what is this SAT? SAT stands for Sustainable Action. All right? It stands for Sustainable Action to Transform Sustainable Action to Transform Human Capital. Okay? So this is the full form of SAT. And there are two, uh, there are you know two components of SAAT projects. One is education, and the component related to education is known as SAAT E. Okay. And other component is health, and the component related to health is known as what SAAT H. All right. So there are two components of SAAT: Sustainable Action to Transform Human Capital Project of Niti Aayog. One is SAAT E, other is SAAT H. So under this SAAT E project, Odisha government has identified around eight thousand schools which will be merged into another other schools. Because of low, uh, you know, low enrollment की वजह से, alright. And इसके अलावा अगर हम साथ ही की बात करते हैं, तो साथ ही guys, the साथ project in fact was launched in the year 2017. And साथ ही जो है, वो primary और secondary education को promote करने के लिए है, उनकी जो हालात है, उसको सुधारने के लिए है, in three states of Odisha, Jharkhand and Madhya Pradesh, alright. Odisha, Jharkhand and Madhya Pradesh में ही इस scheme को implement किया जा रहा है by the Niti Aayog. And guys, for more information about Sathi, you can uh, watch my government scheme session. Just now, I have three Sathi, one Sathi studied. If you are happy, you know. One was Sathi S A T H I, one was S W A T H I, and one was S A T H E. Okay. So there is a uh, session on these three schemes. You can watch this session. Watch that session to uh, know more about Sathi. Okay. So therefore, guys, the correct answer will be what option B Sathi. And let's move on to the question number three and four. So my question number three and four is about the public affairs index of 2020. Public affairs index 2020 launched recently. 
Question number three and four are based on it. So let us first discuss about this public affairs index. So public affairs index कौन release करता है? So it has recently been released by the public affairs center. Okay? Public affairs center ने release किया है and what does it tells? Public affairs index हमें क्या information मिलती है? So it tells uh, uh, it gives information about the governance. Okay? About the governance of states and UPs. All right, so this index gives information about how a state or a UT is governed, how uh, properly a state or a UT is governed. Okay, so this index ranks states and UTs on the basis of quality of government. And there are three pillars under this uh, index, which are equity, growth, and sustainability. These are the three pillars. You have to remember the name of these three pillars. Okay, and you also have to remember that there are five themes. Okay. पांच थीम्स है इसके अंदर अगर आपको नाम याद हो जाता है फाइव थीम्स का देन दैट इज वेल एंड गुड अदरवाइज देयर इज नो इशू इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी टू रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ ऑल दीस फाइव थीम्स जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट देयर आर फाइव थीम्स इन द पब्लिक अफेयर्स इंडेक्स एंड व्हिच आर वॉइस एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी गवर्नमेंट इफेक्टिवनेस रूल ऑफ लॉ रेगुलेटरी क्वालिटी एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ करप्शन राइट एंड मूविंग ऑन टू द रैंकिंग्स so among the larger states number 1 is at kerala kerala is the best governed state in our country sabse acha governed kiya jata hai kerala followed by tamil nadu and andhra pradesh and at the bottom position it is uttar pradesh uttar pradesh bottom pe hai followed by bihar okay so number 1 pe kerala number 2 tamil nadu number 3 andhra pradesh and if we talk about the smaller states so among the smaller states goa is number 1 followed by meghalaya and himachal pradesh okay And talking about union territories, so सबसे ज़्यादा अच्छा तरीके से जो governed होता है union territory that is Chandigarh, then we have Puducherry and Lakshadweep. Okay, so guys, this was about this ranking. Now let's come to the question number uh, three and four. So what is question number three? The fifth edition of Public Affairs Index 2020 has been released by which of the following organization? So guys, this is very important question because ये बहुत फेमस इंडेक्स नहीं है बट यस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द गवर्नेंस ऑफ स्टेट्स एंड यूटीज सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर यू हैव टू मेमोराइज द यू नो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच इज रिलीजिंग दिस इंडेक्स सो द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज व्हाट ऑप्शन सी पब्लिक अफेयर्स सेंटर एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 इज कंसीडर द स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस इंडेक्स एंड आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स so the index has been designed on the basis of three pillars which are equity growth and sustainability yes this is absolutely correct among larger states kerala was ranked number 1 while bihar was at the bottom so is that bihar who was at the which was at the bottom no guys right? it was uttar pradesh all right so this statement is incorrect so you have to read the complete statement properly because this statement yahan tak bilkul sahi hai rank number 1 the because kerala is ranked number 1 but uh, uh, bihar was not the worst it was uttar pradesh which was the worst so the statement therefore is incorrect and chandigarh is the best governed up according to the index yes this is absolutely correct which means we have one and three statements have as correct option e will be the correct answer only one and three and now guys let's move on to the question number 5 which is the last question for today this is also very important question aur isme se bhi keval itna hi question aa sakta hai sachcha isse bada ya isse jo statement based question hai that is not possible because isme koi bahut zyada information government hame provide nahi karayi hai So the question is SCO Shanghai Cooperation Organization Startup Forum was recently launched to develop and improve the startup ecosystems collectively for SCO member state. So the forum was jointly organized by Dash. So you have to fill this gap. Kin kin, कौन कौन सी organization ने मिलके इस forum को organize किया था? So if we talk about this, so the first ever. So remember, it is important because it is a uh, 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 it is the first ever SCO Startup Forum. All right, it is the First ever SEO startup forum that was jointly launched by Confederation of Indian Industry and DPIIT. CII is headed by Uday Kota. Remember the chairperson of CII, Uday Kota, who is the Indian CEO of Kota Mahindra Bank, of course. So this forum was jointly organized by DPIIT and CII. And if we talk about the basic objective of the forum, that was to develop and improve the startup ecosystems collectively in the SEO member states. And recently, two three days ago, I told you about the SCO member states. So write down in the comments the name of all the eight SCO member states. आपको सभी को SCO के जो आठों member states हैं उनका नाम comment में लिखके बताना मैंने आपको recently ही बताया है. So let's move on to the question now. So therefore, guys, the correct answer should be what option C, CII and DPIIT, Confederation of Indian Industry and Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. Okay, so option C will be the correct answer here. Okay, and remember. 
इसमें से ऐसा ही क्वेश्चन होगा स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन कुछ भी नहीं आ सकता बिकॉज इसमें कोई बहुत ज्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन और अगर कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन है भी तो दैट इज नॉट रेलिवेंट फॉर दी एग्जाम ओके एंड दैट दैट्स इट फॉर द सेशन आई होप ये सेशन आपको क्लियर है इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग मिलते हैं कल के सेशन में गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस